It's the Daily Doug. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Daily Doug. Thanks for being with me today. My friends, I have a special episode for y'all today. I'm really looking forward to this. We're going to be getting into some more gaming music today, and I am pumped because we're starting with some Halo, and there's a very good reason why I am going back to the original Halo theme today. It is because I recently interviewed composer Martin O'Donnell for the channel. I actually released that episode, that interview yesterday, so it is available for y'all if you would like. Um, Martin is most known for his work composing music for several uh, popular gaming franchises. We discussed his love of prog music, progressive rock music. We discussed his upbringing and his training. We discussed uh, his start in this industry and a whole bunch more, y'all. It is a worthy interview and uh, I'm really proud of it. I hope that you will uh, enjoy that as well. But uh, to prepare, as I prepared for that interview, I was realizing that I didn't really know any of his music, especially his gaming music. And so <laughs> I thought that uh, I should at least listen to a portion of the Halo theme to get uh, a sense of it so that I could ask him about it. Uh, so I did that. But the thing is, y'all, I didn't listen to all of it. Uh, so today I'm finally going to get to this famous theme in its entirety, and I, I'm really happy that you're here. It's going to be a fun uh, episode. So uh, I had to look up what Halo is, friends, and I know you're thinking, Doug, what what the hell are we going to do with you, man? <laughs> yeah, I've I just like I have missed all of this great music, I have also missed these great games, including Halo. Not only have I never played it, I have never seen it played. I really don't know anything about this game, or most games for that matter, uh, but uh, we're going to give it a shot anyway, y'all. So be gentle. Be gentle if I get something wrong. Halo, as I read in, is a military science fiction gaming empire produced by Bungie Incorporated. The series started uh, and got launched all the way back in the late 90s. I think it came out right around the, the, the early 2000s. And as I was chatting with Marty, he said that the vision from the people at Bungie uh, was to have music and a soundscape for the game that sounded ancient and that sounded mysterious. And as a result, he decided to incorporate Gregorian style chant as the main melodic and thematic material. And he also chose to make use of the Dorian mode, which is one of the seven ancient church modes. And so his decisions into this make a lot of sense to me. Uh, of course, Martin would go on to produce music for several iterations of Halo games with collaborator Michael Salvatore, and he has written music for many other games and movies and television throughout his long career. But it is this Halo theme, uh, I think, an original theme written for a new entrance into the growing gaming industry and, and gaming world, uh, almost getting in on the ground floor of a, a new way to write and produce music for an interactive experience. Uh, that has cemented uh, Martin's reputation and authority in this space. And uh, yeah, y'all, so uh, I don't know much about this. I don't know much about the game. I know that it's a first-person shooter game, uh, and... Uh, there's probably different iterations of that, but let's dive into the actual theme before I keep talking for too long. Um, so let's go to it. Here is the original Halo theme from Marty O'Donnell. Off we go. phrases and it sets up E as our home base that's all I heard so the rest of this will be new to me some oblique motion coming right up out of that Ability. 
of energy. That's flat six. Threes against twos. It's short, right? But uh, I want to listen to it again. I want to take you through a little bit. I'm going to rewind this back to the beginning. Okay. So here's what's going on. So what's going on here, y'all? I want to talk about this a little bit. We're in E. Minor. It's a minor sound, even though it's modal. It's it's think of it as a minor scale, but with a raised sixth. E minor scale, natural minor. Dorian sounds like this. Slightly different. The way that they work, the way that they work historically is that it's the same tetrachord and the tetrachord is going to be a four note pattern and we stack them together and we get an entire octave, right? So if I go up the minor tetrachord from E, it's Do, Re, Me, Fa, right? Do, Re, Me, Fa. Then I go up a step from where I finished on the B, then I do the exact same tetrachord, Do, Re, Me, Fa, right? So if I did them together, Get parallel fifths. It's the exact same scale formation, just stacked on top of each other. You get a very sturdy, sturdy version of a minor key. Do, re, me, fa, sol, la, te, do. The still the lowered seventh on the way up, but you get that raised sixth. So when he starts, he's got da da di da be dum bum bum. Right. I think he opens up with that and gets back to the to the E. The next one starts on the B, the fifth of the key, and you get that that sharp six. And then we take that B that we ended on and go all the way down the octave and start again. I think he ends on the F sharp. And then it's just coming back home. Subtonic back to home where he ended up and uh, from there we get uh, basically the rest of 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 Halo y'all Martin told me that the origin for this piece was actually scribbled down while he was traveling to one of the pitch meetings and it's that sort of simplicity of a straightforward Gregorian style chant it's not a chant that existed that he then lifted or adapted he wrote his own uh, original chant melody in this style and you know we've got the Gregorian style chant we've got an ancient mode we've got four vocal phrases it's what allows for uh, exploration and development in the music of this game and in this game's universe it establishes something that is sturdy something that's powerful 
something that has staying power for a very long time, revealing something that is ancient. It's also a mystical quality, right? With more than one person singing this, you have the, it's like a group of people. So it's bigger than one person. It's an entire community. It's an entire universe that we can immediately get immersed into. And it's, um, it's a very great idea that he had to do that. The other thing that he told me that was that, uh, I want to include here just because I think it's fun y'all is that, uh, uh, Marty told me about his connection uh, with the Beatles. Uh, he has had the opportunity to compose and work with Paul McCartney. Uh, those of you on my Patreon, I'm hoping that I'll get to some of that music over on Patreon before too long. Uh, but he was telling me that as he was trying to come up for uh, the general theme of this, that he called on as inspiration, the general contour of the melody in Yesterday by the Beatles as sort of a blueprint for the range and contour of the original Halo theme. And I'm like, I think I know. I think I know um, <laughs> yesterday. I'm going to play it in F, not in E. E was the Halo theme. Uh, but yesterday is in a major key, right? It's yesterday. Oh, can I remember it? Oh, it's... It's a lovely tune, isn't it, uh, by uh, by McCartney. So uh, -da -da, it starts off uh, in this low part of the register, and it uh, and it verifies tonic. Okay, Halo does the same thing, and then it does this little chromatic thing. It goes to the relative minor, it goes to a different place, and the melody goes up high in the range, and then it's. Comes back down a little bit, then it comes to the end. Oh, what is it? Right. So then Halo starts right at the beginning. It establishes that opening, and then you get the higher stuff with some chromatics. Starts lower. And it gets to that second scale degree, almost home, then finishes up. And you get, it's not a direct uh, extrapolation of that melody. It's just, oh, that really worked. What did he do? He started a little bit low. He did a little chromatic in the second phrase and he went a little higher. They recovered in the third phrase and then the fourth phrase brought it home. I just need to um, apply that general contour to uh, to this theme and uh, boy does it work it really does work and if you go back and listen to my interview with Marty uh, he he talks about this towards the end of the interview and it's it's a wonderful part of it and I just love talking with other composers and getting a sense of what they're about and and what their training is and how they approach their music. It's always great to talk to somebody about process and about the craft and to learn a little something. So it was great to talk to Marty this week and it was wonderful to get into the theme that started it all, Halo, the original Halo theme. I've got a lot of Halo music to listen to. I also have his entire music of the spheres that I'm gonna to listen to and I'm looking forward to that. But I believe that is gonna be all for today, friends. Uh, a wonderful theme and uh, I need to get into some gaming, you know, and get a console and see what all of this is about for myself. Uh, maybe at Christmas time, I will get that. But uh, uh, till then, I will continue to pop in and out of these uh, game themes that I need to know. And I'm looking forward to continuing on this journey. But I said, like I said, that is all for today. And I thank you for being with me. This has been The Daily Doug. We'll see you next time, my friends, on another edition of The Daily Doug.